hello, welcome to Star Wars Belt Out. I'm your host Josh Chapman, and today, just a quick, quick video. Um, not a lot of stuff to show this week, but there is a few things. So, nearly at the end. I said it last week, but we're definitely even close to the end now. So we've got a couple of quick things to go through. There's not many figures here, so it's not going to be a long one, and hopefully they're not wrapped like they were last time. So I'll be able to get through them a little bit quicker. But um, yeah, they're here. So I thought we'd show some stuff. So. What we'll do is we'll pop up the old daddy pig. There he is. I think just when I'm using the camera thing, I want to got this on a little bit higher than before. So if it looks like it's a little bit further than it was, whoop, there he goes. He's just not facing the, you know, he's just a bit further away. But we've got two boxes. Here's one here. This was from um, a fellow from one of the Facebook groups who's actually helped me out with a couple of things. I'm going to have another delivery from him, hopefully in the next couple of days, which will almost round out everything. And there'll only be a couple of little things left. And then do you actually do, do you do a whole video about getting one figure? Maybe there's a couple of heavy hitters back left for, <laughs> for those playing along at home. Whoops, I just dropped it. Just trying not to completely damage this box. There we go. So who have we got? Again, well packed, but we're not talking crazy town packing like the last one. I think these are a little bit more conservatively packed. Again, I could pack these before, but people seem to like, you know, that I haven't seen it yet. You get the real reactions. So we'll get the rub bubble wrap out of here. Oh, they are still pretty well packed here. So I can still just do a little bit. There just seems to have a little bit of tape, so nothing too serious. They're, not, they're just loosey gooseys. But here we go. First one, Forlom. In his little outfit as well. I wasn't quite. I knew he had his cape. I wasn't sure if he had everything. So that was a very good. Again, these are good. Good prices. They're in good nick. He had them with the stuff, and they were still good price. So I got them like that. He's looking pretty good. Good old fall on no blaster, but he's got his uh, his other bits. So, look out there, Daddy Pig. I'll just pop you to the side. Put fall on there. Oops. I'm gonna get this guy's name wrong, I'm sure, but I'll put it here anyway. Uh, one of the skiff guards at Nick Nico Nico. Pretty common, very common figure. I'm really surprised he hasn't turned up in one of the other lots actually. But there he is. Should be easy enough to find a staff for him, I think. I think his accessories are pretty common. But uh, you got to have them. you got to have all the dudes. So I'll just pop him there. Um, what do we got here? Ah, yes. Classic. Whoops. Good old. I think it's Tebow. It's not low gray. I've got low gray. You can sort of see he's got the bluey kind of gray tinge to him. His accessories again, he's a pretty common figure. Might be able to get I'd love to be able to get his headdress. Probably for him in low gray. If I can get the headdresses reasonably affordably, I'd like to get the headdresses for all the Ewoks if I could. But yeah, he's looking pretty good. His leg's a little loose, but nothing too serious. I just, excuse me, did a big order for foot pegs. So I'll have little standy foot pegs for all of them coming hopefully next week. And also a stand, a couple of standee things to put. On the shelf, I made some space for them, so I'll be able to sort of hopefully show off what we're going to do. But they'll be there here next week, hopefully. So maybe even if nothing turns up or something small, I might get them all ready and show you all standing around in their own glory. So let's put Tebow down there. There he is. Oh, he's a bit more zoomed up, isn't it? I can fit more stuff in. And then the last one on here actually is a last 17. So, you know, a bit of sizzle, last 17. Romba, naked Romba. No hat. I'd like to get the hat. Want the Ewoks to have the hoods. Um, again, there was a lady on Facebook who was selling a Chief Chirper wearing a Rumba hat and she wouldn't part with it for Chief Chirper prices. I don't know what she was doing. I think she knew what she had. But anyway, hopefully one will turn up. I don't really want to get a Repro. But he's looking pretty good. Not too worried about the bow and arrow and stuff, but you don't really see the hoods rolling solo. So I might have to upgrade at some stage maybe move him on but you never know we'll see 
we might get lucky. Just put in there. And then, finally, we've got one more box that arrived yesterday. Um, I think there's a story behind this one. I'll do the abbreviated version of it because one of the parties isn't here and he can't speak for himself. But I think I'm going to have him on the podcast in the next couple of days. So if you want to get the full story, I'm sure it's going to absolutely come up um, and you can get his perspective on how this sort of came to be. But I will give an abridged version because I know people on YouTube don't always necessarily listen to the podcast and that's a pretty good story to be honest. Oh, wow. This is really... Whoop. Again, well packed. Look at all the newspaper in there. What newspaper is that? It's the Advocate. I know that is. Oh. Here he is, and he's very well wrapped. Can anybody tell what it is? It's probably going to be on the thumbnail, so you probably already know what it is. Let's just very carefully cut that tape. Oh, come on, get on with it. There he is, an Imperial Gunner. One of the trickier ones to come by on the last seven teams. Um, he's in good look, Nick, actually. His little eye thing's all very red. I'm very curious to say, basically, the story, the very, very bridge story, is that there was a seller on one of the Facebook groups who had one at a very good price. And I left a comment saying, yep, I'm interested, and sent him a message. And we were exchanging messages, and he had a couple other things that I needed at the time. And basically, at that time, it was a very hot day. My kids wanted to swim. And I couldn't really deal with all of that stuff at the same time. So I just said, oh, look, I'll, you know, if I want them, I'll get back to you. So I st stepped away, thinking I'd be able to pick it up later on. And then after I got out of the pool, the kids, he messaged me back saying, uh, you know, your mate just took it. <laughs> uh, and my mate Matt Mole from Three Men and Baby Yoda podcast swept in he saw that I'd commented on the post he needed one and he messaged and I don't know what was said he can say the thing but basically I'd stepped away which is fair enough and he swept in and was pretty chuffed with himself and went ha 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 I got it you snooze you lose so on and so forth and then what happened was a day or two later I found another one the same price on eBay which was pretty hard, um, unbelievable because it was a really good price. Everything else I've seen has been twice as much everywhere. This seller had one, stumbled upon it. was like, I'm not making that mistake again and pulled the trigger. And, <laughs> and then basically Matt messaged me saying that he'd got the parcel. The gunner had arrived, opened it up, and it was the wrong figure. <laughs> the guy he bought it on had put the wrong figure in and sent the gunner to somebody else. So I thought that was pretty hilarious. He got a bit of karma, I thought, for sniping his mate. And then the race was on to see who would actually get theirs first. And mine turned up yesterday before, or the day before, before he did. So by the time he got it all sorted out, he did get his figure in the end. But it turned out that he had to do a bunch of running around. He had to send the other figure back. He had to wait for the other one to come in. And that time, my my gunner, here he is, he turned up beforehand anyway. So And it was the same price. So I paid the same amount of money to get it earlier and didn't have to deal with the hassle. So... I will get Matt. I think Matt's going to be on the podcast in the next day or two uh, on Star Wars Spells Out. If people who watch this don't listen, come and listen. It's a good time. And he can give his side of the story. So I'm sure he's probably got some other details. But he was pretty happy with himself and I thought it was pretty funny that that happened really. Can I zoom in there? I just wonder whether I can. No, I'll figure that out later. Um, so that, that's kind of the story behind that one. But it's good to have the gunner. I've only got two... Last seven teams left. Now, there's a few a New Hope era that I need that are coming. They've been paid for. They're on the way. So next video will probably be them. And so the really only outstanding ones that I don't have now are a Warrock, Ewok, and a Yak Face, which is like... Oh, going to be expensive. So there might be a bit of a wait before we get those sorted. Might just hang around and see if I can get the get a better deal on those there was a yak face i nearly pulled the trigger on the other day and i might still it's a lot of money though so we'll see we'll see 
we'll see what happens. But I'll hopefully show off the display where I'm gonna, how I'm gonna put them up soon. And I'm glad people are enjoying this. And the Warwick, yeah, is gonna be tricky. And then there's Blue Snag, which I'll probably do, but he's not crucial. So we'll just say. And then I've got a couple of little weapons and things that I had an opportunity to get. Again, I wasn't too worried about the weapons, but these are just sort of ones that were there and they were affordable, so I'll get them. So yeah, that's it. Thanks everybody for listening. Uh, really enjoying that people are enjoying these. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.